Hello, I'm Tim Morris from Cincinnati State. Today, we're going to solve one of the age-old issues about major repairs, minor repairs. Major alterations, minor alteration. What is the difference between major and minor? So the first thing we're going to do is let's look at the definition. So the FAA has a definition for minor alteration. A minor alteration is anything other than a major alteration. I should have known that. A minor repair. A minor repair means a repair other than a major repair. Okay, so, so now we know what minor is. Minor's not major. That's what they're telling us, right? So the definition in the Federal Aviation Regulations, Chapter 1, or Part 1 really, is that a major alteration is a change. It's an alteration not listed in the specifications or the type certificate data sheet. So it is a, a new change, something that hasn't been done before, something that has not been approved. That might appreciably affect weight and balance, structural strength, performance, power plant operation, the flight characteristics, or other airworthiness qual uh, qualities. So if it's a change, it's going to make an effect on any of this. It's going to change, make a big change in weight, make a big change in structural strength. That is a major alteration. Uh, the second criteria is that it is not done according to accepted practices or cannot be done by elementary operation. So it's something complex. Okay, a repair. A repair is something that restores something to its, you know, close to its original condition. A major repair is a repair that, if improperly done, would affect weight, balance, structural strength, performance, power plant operation, flight characteristics, or other qualities affecting airworthiness. So they're similar. It's also something that's not done according to accepted practices or cannot be done by elementary operation. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at three examples and we're going to try to figure out uh, using some other criteria if it is a major repair or major alteration. So the first question is, is overhauling an engine, overhauling an engine, I've got an overhaul manual, I'm going to follow the overhaul manual, is that overhaul, is that a major repair? To do this, we're going to look up a list. The FAA has a list in uh, Part 43. So I go to the FAA page. I go to Mechanics web page. That's the one I always use. When I click on the Mechanics web page, it's going to take me to it. Everything a mechanic needs to know. Now down here, I'm going to look for Federal Aviation Regulations. And under here, Regulations and Policies. Here it is. Here's my link. When I click the FARs, I'm going to FAR Part 43. And 43 is the section on maintenance. So in 43, let's get down to 43, we're going to click on this. We have several appendices or appendix sections. So appendices, or appendices are where the FAA puts anything that's going to be a long list. So here's my part 43, and here's my list of regulations going down to where we go appendix A. Now appendix A shows major alterations, major repairs, and preventative maintenance. Okay, so we care about major alterations and major repairs. When we go to this, what it's going to do is it's going to give us a list. So the first thing is major alterations, and these are airframe, and major uh, alterations when not listed in the specifications. If you may make a major, uh, if you do a lot of work on the wing or the tail section, you alter it, okay? Mm -hmm. But right now, we're looking for repairs, so we got to keep going down. These are still alterations. There's, here we go, now major repairs. Airframe major repairs. Okay, well, we said the engine. That's a power plant. So let's go down to, to power plant. Power plant major repairs. Separation of a crankcase of a reciprocating engine equipped with an integral supercharger. Well, my engine doesn't have a supercharger, so that's not it. So it's not major because of that. No supercharger. Separation of a crankcase equipped with other than a spur-type propeller reduction. Okay, my, I don't have a spur reduction gear on this. So it's not that. This is going to be a, an overhauling something like a like an 0320, a simple light coming engine on a 172. It doesn't have a supercharger, it doesn't have gear reduction, special repairs by welding plating. No, I'm not going to weld or plate. And that's it. Power plant major repairs. So back to our question. So back to our question. Is overhauling an engine a major repair? No, it is not because it wasn't on the list. As long as I don't have a supercharger or a, a, a spur planetary gear system. 
So overhauling an engine is a minor repair, believe it or not. Let's look at another one. If I install a new accessory that was not approved for the engine, is that a major alteration? Okay, so let's say I've got a, a, uh, an alternator and we want to change the make and manufacture of the alternator on our engine. Same size, it's a similar alternator, but it, it's not called out in the uh, type of data sheet, it's not called out in the parts manual, it's, it's a different one. I can't, get the, I can't get the old one anymore. Okay, power plant major alterations. Uh, conversion of an engine from one model, no that's not it. Changes by replacing structural parts with parts not supplied by the manufacturer or not specifically approved. Well, it's not really a structural part, an alternator is. Installation of an accessory which is not approved for the engine. Aha! This is a major alteration. So here we found it. If I install a new accessory that was not approved for the engine, it is a major alteration. We'll look at one more. Is splicing a wing skin a major repair or alteration? Okay, major alterations. Okay, if it is something to do with the wings, tail service fuselages, elements including spars, ribs, basic weights, hydraulic, rotor blades. No, I haven't seen it yet. Changes to the empty weight, changes in basic design, changes to a wing or movable control surface. All right, so, so it could be, since we're working on the wings that's splicing this skin, let's keep looking. Let's go down and look at major repairs. Okay, repairs to the following items of an airframe involving strengthening, reinforcing, splicing, uh, manufacturing members and replacement, such as riveting, welding, are major airframe major repairs. Look at this. The splicing of skin sheets. So, is splicing a wing skin a major repair alteration? Well, it, according to our list, is a major repair. Documentation requirements. So let's start out with minor. All right, what are we doing? What are we writing down if we do a minor repair or minor alteration? Well, we document the work in the maintenance record. That means logbook. You know, unless there's some a different record that's used, but most things have logbooks. So we're going to make a logbook entry. We're going to put our A and P number, airframe and power plant number, and we're going to reference the work. We're going to say done in accordance with the maintenance manual or done in accordance with with something. What what told us we could do this? What kind of standard practice might have told us we could do that? Document documentation requirements for major repairs or major alterations. We're going to do the same thing. We'll do a logbook entry. We're going to document it and we're going to write how we did the work and then we're going to complete an FAA form 337. That's a major repair or major alteration form and we will need a mechanic an AP mechanic and we will need someone with inspection authorization or we'll have to call the FAA and get a field repair. So it's going to take uh, people with a couple different authorities to complete this major repair and alteration form. We're going to give a copy to the owner of the aircraft and we're going to send two copies into the FAA records department at Oklahoma City. I hope this clarifies some information on major repairs and major alterations. So we are constantly looking in Appendix A to Part 43 to see if what we are altering or repairing is on the list. If it's on the list as a major repair or major alteration, then that's, that's basically it. The other things that we do is we look at the definitions in FAR Part 1. Thanks for watching.